fight with Justin Gaethje. I know everybody was excited when the fight was announced. No, I, I'm still excited for it. Um, are you expecting a war just like we all are? I'm ready for one, but I'm not expecting one. I'm ready for it, but I'm definitely not expecting it. I'm, I'm going in there to make this. Uh, I don't. The guys that go alone, it's just going to be a war. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you, right? That so that's the best case scenario. You're going for a war. So the worst case scenario is you probably get knocked out really fast. You know what I mean? My 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 best case scenario is I go in there and I make it look smooth. I make it look easy. I make it look simple, you know? I make him look stupid. And that's what I'm training every day. That's what I train to do. You know, it works out, you know, visualizing it, seeing it. It worked out in, my, in, in the Diego fight. It's worked out a bunch of my other fights. And then if you need to go to war, you go to war. But I don't, I don't, I really don't see that in this fight. I think I have a skill set. You know, no one's really, no one's really seen, seen what I can do. You know, you see, see what I could do. Uh, five, five rounds on on a three rounds training camp. So, five rounds on a five round training camp. It's gonna be it's gonna be a different story. How do you see this fight playing? Hit, hitting whatever I want to hit when I want to hit it. Um, you know, frustrating him, making him, making him really guess every punch he throws. He's gonna be guessing what I'm coming back with. Ow. <laughs> brother Al, brother man Al, he's ready for war. <sighs> you know what I like about Al? It's the fact that his um his talk before the fight, his uh general rhetoric before the fight, it's it's calm. You know, it's calm. It's uh it's a little more calculated. When he gets in there, man, it seems like he's at home. He doesn't want to be anywhere else other than in that ring. When he took on Khabib, it was the first time that I saw... I don't want to say I saw holes in Khabib's game. I just saw somebody with the same energy as Khabib. Like, you, most people who have faced Khabib, I think they, they get bewildered by the wrestling and his energy. They get bewildered by the fact that he won't quit. Like, this doesn't stop. This stops when you give up, you know? Al walks into the ring with the same energy. You know, like, this doesn't stop, my guy. You can keep taking me down. You can keep... I will get back up and I will go beat you. Simple. You know? That That is what I would equate to a warrior's mentality. And I, I'm, I'm also willing to assume that Justin Gaethje has the same mentality. I mean... We've all said this before. Justin Gaethje has had what three fights in in uh, the UFC? Two losses, one win. Each fight he fought exactly the same. It was a straight up slugfest, and we we all saw how that ended. So this won't be an easy fight for Gaethje. Um, his strategy in making it in one FC, you know, my willpower versus yours, who's going to break first. It, it helped him in 1FC. In the UFC, um, purely based on his current record, it's not helping him. Against Al, I truly believe it won't help. Why Al has faced competition that Justin, B Justin Gaethje has yet to face. Um, I think that fact is too hard for Justin Gaethje to ignore. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. Joe Rogan, no disrespect to you or the 16,000 people in this arena. But I have a message for one man. John Jones, get your...